First on Fox, disturbing new details in the days leading up to the horrific death of Majelic Young. The four-year-old was found buried in a backyard at a home in North Charlotte last month. Majelic's mother and grandmother are facing charges related to her death. The search warrants, which Fox 46 obtained from a family friend, show just how inhumane it was in the girl's final days. Fox 46's Derek Ellinger live in the newsroom with these graphic details tonight and the reaction to it. Derek? Yeah, the warrants indicate that the child was punished for essentially messing her pants. And that punishment essentially lasted for three days. Now, that many believe that it did lead to her death. I do want to warn you, some, some of what you're about to hear right now will be disturbing. Back on May 21st, there were only hints of what was discovered at this home off Braden Drive. Before we even knew what happened, there were rumors already in the neighborhood, some of which turned out to be true. Jelly was always, always smiling. And her smile was just so big. Lucille Puckett is a family friend of the father of Majelic Young, nicknamed Jelly. The girl was just four years old. She got weak. When I say she was weak from, I mean, dehydration and, you know, no food, being starved to death. The warrants, now public, detail some of the horrific final days of the girl, with a lot of the specifics coming from an older sibling. The warrants indicate a timeline from that sibling that it was August 2020. Majelic had messed her pants, and as punishment, her mother, Malika Bennett, forced her to stand for three straight days. She couldn't go out. She couldn't sit down. By the end of that three days, Majelic was so weak, she fell out of the back door and hit her head. The warrants say the mother had tried to perform CPR, but the child had died. The child's body was cleaned, put into two trash bags, and left in the back of an SUV for days before ultimately being buried. That entire time, up until last month, Puckett says Bennett was doing damage control, telling conflicting stories to family on where exactly the girl was. The mom was able to tell her family that she went back to the dad. And when dad and the family called to ask where was Jelly, she would say, well, she was with my mom. Puckett says the excuses eventually ran out. It was ultimately a Child Protective Services worker that led CMPD to the home, a home that Puckett says Majelic was just visiting. She had been raised by her father, and she says the girl had just wanted to see her mother for her birthday. We just don't know what we are missing in the lifetime without Jelly. Now, Malika Bennett is facing murder charges, and Majelic's grandmother, Tracy Moffat, is also facing charges specifically with concealing a death and being an accessory after the fact. Now, the search warrants we do have basically limited to Bennett's involvement and did not go into the grandmother's involvement.